I can't do anything about what's happening over there. But you can. Welcome. I'm Jesse Nathaniel Henry Moses, also known as JNHM, inventor, fabricator, theorist, amongst other things. And believe it or not, this video is real. It's 8.13 here on the West Coast, and it's very late in the day for me. And I'm working on much more important things, believe it or not. Most scientists are scientific minds. If they had a discovery like this, or some of my other ones, they would have ran with it tried to publish everywhere tried to write books tried to make a million dollars me i'm working on other things that take up all my time so yeah this is the best you're gonna get on this kind of stuff right now until i have more time so i'm jnhm inventor of the fibonacci and jnhm matrix continuing the work of leonardo fibonacci actually proving the ancient egyptians knew this uh sequence first and more but we're here to talk about what are black holes a black hole a region of space having a gravitational field so intense that no matter or radiation can escape even though we know the poles eject matter at high velocity and all this other stuff so why is even this this wrong well though we're not going to try to put anybody down this video I've learned on the backs of very smart people. I wouldn't be here without learning from other very smart people. So let, let's keep the vibe of the video like that. And the quality of the video just got worse and worse from there. So I got a new mic here. And so, you know, physicists and very smart people, mathematicians, etc., have been challenging the existence of black holes. I'm not some soul solo guy over here trying to like outsmart the scientific community even though I might be able to, but um, I'm showing you these links here to show you that um, universal Lagrange points are Galaxian Lagrangian points don't exist, at least when you try to search them, you can't find anybody on the sorts, and I'm trying to change that, because I believe black holes are universal Lagrangian points. What is a Lagrange point or a Lagrangian point? Well, you should check out probably the bad astronomer if you're a normal kind of person looking into this stuff. Um, you should look more into it if you're interested and you probably should have already known about these if you're in the field. If not, get out of the field. Um, so, but the bad astronomer has some good stuff. Um, he kind of explains how Lagrangian points don't work uh, in the typical way you might think they do with the, um, the typical model that uh, you put a sheet down and the sun is a bowling ball and then it pulls space time and things fall into it and that's gravity and all that's just stupid. So here's a picture of Lagrangian points at work and this L1 is kind of common sense in a way if you're like me. You can see you can find a balancing point in between this massive object pulling you one way and another massive object pulling you another way. You can imagine you get right in the sweet spot where it holds you there. But every other Lagrangian point threw me for a loop a little bit. And then there's some that just don't make sense at all. Um, L2 off in the back, it's kind of common sense a little. You have the Earth pulling you one way and then behind the Earth even is the Sun pulling you in the same direction, so it wants to hold you there. But L3, why would Earth and Sun make you get held on the opposite side of the Sun? It's just weird to me. Furthermore, L4 and L5, 60 degrees ahead and 60 degrees lagging, is even more strange, more Twilight Zone. And you need to understand this is where it gets into sacred geometry. And I don't say that to say it's a deity, it's godly, it's, it's a boogeyman under the stairs. It's, you will find what I'm trying to explain to you better and you'll be on to the right information if you search sacred geometry. Because of course you just search of geometry, you're gonna get everything involving geometry and the normal stuff you learned like in the ninth grade. But taking it further, this is like a better representation of it. You see that L3 is off to the bottom here and it's not in the orbit of the Earth. And uh, if you're also like me, you probably noticed that 
this instantly triggered something in your head. You said, that looks like something. What does that look like? And then you were like, oh yeah, it's the peace sign. And see, the older ones have the tail sticking off, like out of the orbit, L3 sticks off down there. And, and that's just something to, to keep in mind. Um, Cause it's like sacred geometry type stuff, hidden knowledge type stuff, not to get all Illuminati on you, but it, this is that like it or not um you can see here off on l2 um the orbit or actually you can orbit the lagrange points which is strange um typical science will have you believing like the sun you know is, is the big bowling ball in the center of the solar system and everything wants to fall in towards it well if these things are making indentations in a gravitational sheet so to speak why can you orbit the points if you run with that model and try to get a penny in orbit around a Lagrange point created by the indentation of the sun and the planet? It's not going to work, simply put. So um, that's why the, the, your first homework for trying to understand Lagrange points or what black holes really are is Lagrange points. You need to solely understand what Lagrange points are. And then beyond that, it starts to dive into... Um, magnetics uh, because even the bad astronomer here he tries to tell you that it's more like a marble in a bowl orbiting some of these Lagrange points you push them out of kilter it wants to come back to the center of a bowl like a marble in a bowl or something and um, you need to learn those kind of things because it fits perfectly with David LaPointe's theory on the primer fields and uh, it's, it gets really in depth and stuff, but it's really like, it's public level stuff. He, he's made all of his stuff so public level, you, like you graduated high school or maybe even the eighth grade or something, you're gonna get and follow along what he's saying. Not to be like it's all so simple and blah, but normal people will be able to follow. And your third and final bit of homework is from a man uh, called Distinti. Here's Distinti, um, another very smart gentleman, I believe. Um, and using the primer field theory and this gentleman's theory, um, Ethereal Mechanics Part 1, Building a Foundation, Ethereal Mechanics Part 2, Ether and the Universe, combining these two gentlemen's theories with everything I'm trying to tell you about Lagrange points, just use your imagination. Don't say it's just Earth and the Sun. And we can create these weird gravitational fields out there in space or it's just Jupiter and the Sun and it creates its weird gravitational fields. Imagine what the Milky Way galaxy as a whole combined with the Andromeda galaxy and what kind of Lagrange points would they create. And if Earth, uh, Earth Sun can create Lagrange points that hold objects so big that they can be a planet killer then imagine what galaxies can do when they're creating these same forces which they must since the only criteria to create a Lagrange point is two massive objects so I'm gonna try to shorten the video and pretty much chop it there I think everybody can get what I'm on about look into Lagrangian points look into the primer field theory and, and the magnetics of, that they probably left out a lot when you were studying this stuff and look into uh, Mr. Distinti's stuff with ethereal mechanics. Um, some of his videos are public level. Some of Mr. Distinti's are, you're going to have to do a little research and things. But if Distinti can challenge Faraday, or at least intelligently put up good arguments against Faraday and why Faraday is wrong, he must be a pretty smart guy, right? Did you ever learn Faraday's law and then see holes in it? Well, he did. So, um, just check out those things, you know what I'm saying? Primer field theory, uh, ethereal mechanics by the Stinti, and Lagrangian points, and keeping that in mind with everything they told you about black holes. Because we don't have clear pictures of black holes. All we know is these vague, vague images where we see stars orbiting really fast, and we say, what on earth could be causing it? Well, JNHM is telling you first, and it's, um, it's super Lagrangian points. Our Galaxian, our universal Lagrangian points or something like that. And you may want to check out Sacred Geometry and focus on the geometry side 
and all that stuff. I'm JNHM. I hope you enjoy it.